Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. What's going on? Welcome to another edition of Savage Finance. Today we're going to talk about five money mistakes that people make with their money that impact them for many, many years, or in some cases, one of these things will impact you the rest of your life. If this is your first time here, I want you to do two things. I want you to go to the beginning of the channel and begin watching the older content so you can become financially literate. And I also want you to go ahead and enroll in 30 days to 2,500. It's a free course that will teach you how to start a side business so you can bring more money into your life. How's that for really cool? All right, the first money mistake that many people make is not focusing on their career. You have many people who will go out and get a job. You have grandmothers and grandfathers working in McDonald's. This is a huge mistake because your income is the lever that you'll do everything in your life. And we have many people out here who are just living and they have not focused on creating a career. And this is a mistake that can haunt you for decades, if not the rest of your life. One of the things I've come to understand as we go forward is people have not been properly educated about money, life, success, and business. They've received wives' tales, they've received something from their Uncle Joe, and they, they, they don't really understand how critical your career choice is and how soon, because let's take your 20s. This is a time that many people have a lot of fun. This is a time that you should be building because the foundation that you build in your 20s is going to be the launch pad for your 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s. And many people don't understand this because they're so busy out having fun. This is money mistake, hands down, number one, not focusing on your career and not establish for yourself in a career to have decent income to invest and live on. The second money mistake that people make, they don't pay themselves first. Many people have no investment program or anything going on. They may have a 401k at work that comes out of their check, but you should have an intentional plan of investing and paying yourself first. This is what people normally do. They'll pay their rent or mortgage or car payment or credit cards or student loans. They'll pay all of that stuff and then what's left over, that's for them and usually they'll blow that money because they're not. there's no established plan to paying yourself first. And this is a huge, huge, huge mistake. Do you understand that if you establish a plan of paying yourself first in your 20s, you can invest less money and have more money in your investment account than someone who will invest more money in their 30s or 40s, because this is the thing, you don't have the power of compound interest. So the sooner that you get on the investment train, the better off you will be. And this will require you to pay yourself first. So many people are not doing this. The third money mistake that many people make, they have no written budget. They're just out here looking in their checking account and paying their bills and they look in their checking account, I paid all my bills, I got money left over, I'm good. That is the wrong way to actually live your life. That is the wrong way to actually handle your money. You should have a written budget and you should have written goals for your money. Most people, and right now there, there's so many things, there's like mint.com, there's these budgeting apps, you can create an Excel spreadsheet, but you should have a written goal and a written down budget and it should be allocated based upon how you get paid. In one of my videos, I talked about how to seriously optimize your money because essentially after you get your first emergency fund and your second emergency fund, you should create an operating account for your life because this operating account would have two months of expenses in it and you will be able to pay your bills at the first of the month versus waiting until you get paid. So this goes into this line. This is why you need to have a written budget 
and you need to have proper allocation and segmentation for you to optimize your money. And I have a course, the money management course that will help you do that. And it will literally put your financial goals on steroids, the links below. Fourth stupid thing that people do with their money is acquire a lot of bad debt. Debt is a bad, bad word. You will have people out here who will finance their purses, they will finance their shoes, that they will go out and throw it on the credit card and be paying 18 up to 30% interest and they will pay for this item over and over and over. There's good debt and there's bad debt. Most cons consumer spending creates a lot of bad debt. Most consumer spending creates a lot of harmful debt. And as we are witnessing during this pandemic, a lot of people are strapped. A lot of people are in a very bad situation. And this is something because honestly, you were pulled into the American credit indoctrination system and you didn't understand what you were literally engaging in. And this is a harmful practice because it starts when you're in high school, then you go to college and you take out student loans. While you're in college, they'll send you a credit card. And next thing you know, you have all of this debt before you even have your first job. You have all of this debt and then you get your first job and then you go out and get your car and then you get your credit cards. And this is why so many people are in six figure debt without a mortgage. I want you to think about that, that you owe six figures in debt and you have no asset that can produce cash. This is why this debt is bad. You know, the whole thing about going to college, I, I would, if I had children, I would advise them to go to community college and pay as they go so they can graduate with a degree and not have all of this bad debt because bad debt creates a drain on future income. And this is such a bad thing because go ahead and you, you do the traditional thing. You go ahead and get student loans, then you graduate college, then you get a car payment, then you have some credit cards. Literally, you could have $1,400 to $2,000 a month in debt payments and virtually no money left over to accelerate your life, to invest in the business, to invest in the stock market, virtually nothing because you're on the debt treadmill. This is one of the things that is killing America because people don't know how to operate with cash. So that's the fourth money mistake that so many people make and it is a killer. It is a big killer. The fifth money mistake that people make is financing cars. I have a whole video dedicated on this subject, but I thought I would include it in this video because it is such a big issue. Right now during this pandemic, you have car dealers giving you 84 months, no payments for three or four months on these car loans. So essentially you're going to have this car loan obligation for about seven to eight years. And even if the interest rate is low, you're still a bad deal because all of the interest is at the front of the loan. When you buy a car, your first payment, most of that payment goes towards interest. It doesn't go to the principal of the car. About year two, about year three, four, five, six, depending upon how long the loan is, the longer the loan, loan term is, the more interest that you pay because all the interest is shoved up at the front of the loan. So literally you can make car payments for a year and 95% of that money goes towards interest payments and 5% goes to the principal of the car. This is why this is one of the worst things you can do for your financial future. If you go ahead and buy five or seven cars in your lifetime, the money that is sunk off in these car payments can literally delay retirement or eliminate retirement. That's how much money you lose on cars. You have the depreciation of the car, you're losing money over there, and then you have the interest that you're paying on the depreciating asset, you're losing money there. This is absolutely one of the worst things you can do for your financial future is to finance a car. And this is something that people will do. And to actually add injury to insult, one of the worst things you can do is to trade a car in that has negative equity into a newer car so you 
are paying for a car that you no longer have in addition to the car that you have. That, that's one of the worst things you can do. And this thing will put you back so far, it will mess up your finances so much. I remember when I was in the military and I bought my first car, which I financed. I've only financed two cars in my life. And I remember the sudden lack of money. That car, between the car payment, the car insurance, and whatever else that goes along with having a car, literally took up one of my, my military checks. I just noticed, and one day we were all out talking, because Saturdays, you know, at Fort McPherson, we all used to roll our cars up on in front of the commons, and we would wash them and get ready for Saturday nights. And I, we were, there was this one day we had this conversation, and it's like, you ever notice that once you got your car, you stop having money? Because we were all young, and our insurance, like our insurance was almost as much as the car payment, because we were so young. But th these are su such bad deals for you to engage in and it creates such economic harm. So there it is. These are the five worst things you can do for your economic life. And it, it is killer. It is killer. So what I want you to do is go below, enroll in 30 days to 2,500. It's a course designed to teach you how to make money, start your side business so you can get more money in your life. And to take it to the next level, go ahead and get my money management course because it's gonna teach you how to optimize your personal finance that the way a business should optimize their personal finance. And many businesses don't optimize their personal finances like this. This is why so many of these businesses are literally gonna go out of business during this pandemic. They don't have good books, they don't have good checking accounts, and they're not running their financial section of their business the way that they should. What the money management course will do is teach you how to optimize and set up your personal finances so you can win this money game. So there should be another video right here. Check it out, check it out, check it out.